Hey guys, what's going on? This is Professor Ron uh, with OneHourProfessor.com and what I'm going to do here today is I am actually going to go over a uh, tutorial for Thrive Headline Optimizer uh, and kind of explain to you how this whole program works and really why it's valuable and there is quite a few reasons why it is so we'll talk about that and kind of uh, kind of dive into it here. So Thrive Headline Optimizer uh, the idea here is to get users to click on the content when they arrive right on your website. And, um, you know, according to Thrive, you have, well, the folks over at Thrive Themes, you have about 2.6 seconds to make this happen, right? So the, the real idea here, so let me go into my website. The real idea here is that we've got the headlines of all of the content that we're writing, okay? And we want to make that content as good as possible, right? So you see here I put the titles in my images, which technically you shouldn't do that um, if you're using this platform a lot. But what we're talking about is right here. So why you should email more videos to your subscribers or future plans for onehourprofessor.com or April monthly income report. Now I will say I don't know if my website's necessarily the best for this plugin, but because I've got a really you know extensive uh, Thrive Themes plugin tutorial, I wanted to go ahead and cover this as well. So the idea is basically to make it so that, you know, these titles are optimized, these headlines are optimized. And then also, if somebody goes to probably one of the most popular pages on nearly every website, the blog posts or the blog page, that the uh, titles here are also optimized. Okay. Now, when you think about it, how much time do you plan uh, for you know, the, the content that you write. How much time do you put into the content that you write? You know, hours upon hours to do that. Now, conversely, how much time do you use uh, to optimize the headlines of your articles? And the answer to that is, for most of you, not long at all. Maybe you'll do a keyword search in, in Google or something and kind of say, oh, that seems good, and then put it on there, right? And that's a big mistake. So this plugin, what it does and why it is, it is really powerful for the right websites. I don't know if I have the right website here, but for the right websites, this is really powerful. It will make it so that you can test your headlines on an automated basis. And I'm a huge fan of automation because things take too long. Um, so you can test multiple headlines at a time and the plugin will actually choose the best winner for you and optimize your posts appropriately. Okay, so it's almost, I mean, it really is like a set it and forget it type of platform. So it's really helpful for that. Now the key to this plugin is that you have to have decent traffic to your website in order to really see a return on the investment. Okay, if you don't have decent traffic, um, you know, people scrolling around on your website, you're probably not going to see that much return on investment. But if you have decent traffic, you know, 10, 20,000 people a month even, um, in that range, maybe, maybe less, maybe 5,000, you're going to see some return on investment here because more people are going to engage on your posts and read them and that sort of thing. Uh, now, this plugin, the statistics and data in the plugin, it also gives you a very robust uh, amount of information as well, and I'll obviously show you that here. Um, but there's, you know, a lot of good stuff here for the right websites. I think that's the key. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get started. So when we go into the dashboard here, um, we can see that we've got obviously just a standard WordPress dashboard. And there's two ways that you can get into the, the um, Thrive Headline Optimizer plugin. The first way, which is the recommended way because it's the fastest and uh, easiest way to do multiple posts at a time, is to go right here into the Thrive Headline Optimizer. Otherwise, you can go directly into your, page, your uh, pages and your posts page as well. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Thrive Headline Optimizer area here because it's the fastest way, right? And it's really simple. Uh, this won't take long in terms of our tutorial. It's really simple to show how this works. So basically you go in here and it says content with currently active tests. I don't have any, right? So what we can do is we can set some. So we, we click on add new. Let me adjust my keyboard here. Click on add new. And this is some of the most recent content that I've written. Now you could change it so that you had uh, other older content. But again, the, the point here, this isn't impacting SEO. Okay, what this is impacting is people that come to your site, what headline are they seeing for the content? Okay, 
So we could do this. So choose the content to test. So I'm just going to click, and you, you see here you get pages or posts. I'm just going to stay on posts. And I'm just going to choose these, these two top ones, okay? So why you should email more videos to your subscribers and future plans for onehourprofessor.com, right? That's all I'm going to test here for the sake of this tutorial. You could do more, but we're just going to stop there. So we're going to click Save and Continue. Okay. So this is the control. In other words, this is the, the baseline of what we're using. So why you should email more videos to your, your uh, subscribers. I'm going to change it and say the new headline could be the power of emailing videos to your su subscribers. Right? And that's that's one of them. And then we'll press oops, we'll press return, and it lets us go right into the next one here, which is nice because you don't have to play with your mouse and click around a bunch. So you can easily, very easily do this. So the power of emailing videos to your subscribers, and then if you aren't using video, well, I always like to do the to capture. If you aren't using video for this you're missing out right and these are obviously examples but these are the variations that I could test and I could I could do a lot more well, I usually would just stop at three I probably wouldn't go much further than that right so then we can go tab I'm sorry we'll click on add variation here and we start on the next area here so future future plans for one hour professor um, what the future holds for OHP, which is one hour professor, uh, the changes, or how about changes are on the way for OHP, okay? And most of the people that follow me know that one hour professor, OHP, they figured that out. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, these are the variations. I usually, I mean, personally, I wouldn't do more than, than uh, two other variations. I guess you could do three <clears throat> and make it a case. But we'll just stop there. So those are the uh, tests that I'm going to do. And then we're going to click next step here, determine test criteria. Um, you can mess with this stuff here and you can change it so that the automatic winner isn't selected and all that. I actually would recommend that you leave it like this um, because they've got confidence interval beat it, or confidence interval in here, which is good, 97.5%. Uh, minimum duration of 14 days, saying it takes a total of 14 days. Minimum engagements of 200. Um, and they they basically define an engagement here. So the user scrolls 30% down the page uh, or they're on the page for 78 seconds or longer. Again, I would leave this as is. They've done a lot of testing. They're smart people over there at Thrive Team, so I would leave it as is. Uh, so that's it. That's all we need to do. And what they're basically saying is, hey, we're going to test these against each other, and whoever the winner is has a chance to beat the original 97.5% um, you know, chance that the uh, conclusion that they come to is the correct one, which is much better than just writing a headline and hoping, right? So that's it. So we go into here and we click on start test, and that's it. So now uh, these are going to be testing against each other. And you can see that, you know, I don't have data in here, um, but I've seen their tutorials. They have very robust data. I just, you know, I'm launching this now. Uh, so they have very robust tutorials explaining it with data. But since I don't have that, you can at least see where the data would be, and it'll kind of show you which is the more popular one, which is awesome. Uh, and then one of the other things I did want to show you, so it'll, it'll show you the, the currently active tests here. It'll show you the uh, completed tests here. But the other thing I wanted to show you is that you can actually do this, so like I said, in your posts, which is more likely where you're going to do it because your blog posts are where you're probably going to test a lot of this. Um, you could do it on your pages, but I don't see it happening as often. Uh, but here you can actually see, see this little lab thing here uh, on the left side. I don't know how well you can see it on the screen there. But if we click on edit here, you can actually go into the post and in the top right, so this is the information here, right? So on the top right, they're going to show you what's happening with the test and how everything's going, um, which is great. And then you can also, you know, as you can see here, if you want to, you know, you have a, a new post and you want to do it, um, you know, you can basically put your content in, and then on the right side here, there's a lot of little buttons here. On the right side here, there's going to be add variation, right? And you can just add your variations as they happen. So I'm not going to do that here because you can see what's already happening. But that's pretty much it. Uh, so that is the Thrive Headline Optimizer. It's really powerful stuff for the right websites. Again, I don't know that mine's the correct one because I don't have enough traffic, but if you have decent traffic, 
you definitely may want to consider, the, uh, consider it. Thank you.